Hey what's up everybody, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get a live wallpaper that adapts to your taste in photography. This one is in the same vein as 500 Fire Paper or Muse in that it can cycle through a set of still images, but it differentiates itself by tailoring your wallpaper to your tastes. Right now the app is not available for everyone, so you'll have to sign up for their beta program if you want to try it out. To do that, start by heading to tapdeck.io from any web browser. From here, go ahead and enter your email in the field near the top of the page, and I'll do that off screen real quick. Alright, so next up, you'll get an email inviting you to the beta program. This might not happen immediately, but stay on the lookout nonetheless. When it comes through though, go ahead and tap the Play Store link near the bottom of the email. From here, just install the app like any other, and when it's done, go ahead and open it. Next, hit this Tap to Start button in the middle of the screen, then scroll through and have a look at the walkthrough that it provides. From here, tap the Sign Up button, then provide your name and the email address that you used to register for the beta program. When that's all done, you'll get another email from TapDeck asking you to verify your account. So hit the link that they provide in the email, then head back to the TapDeck app. From here, you'll have to sign in with the email address and password that you entered previously, and I'll do that one off screen again. Alright, so finally we're ready to check out the app itself. This is where things get interesting. Instead of selecting categories or installing plugins like you have to do with other similar wallpaper apps, you can let TapDeck know what kind of pictures you like. They provide a handful of sample images, and you just have to select at least three that you like. When you do that, it'll get a baseline for the types of photos that you enjoy, so it'll know what pictures to show from here out. So next, tap the Check button, then on the following screen, hit the Activate button. After that, hit Set Wallpaper, then you'll be offered a chance to walk through the app's gestures. I'm going to skip that part, and instead I'll show you how it works myself. When you're ready for a new background image, go ahead and double tap any empty space on your home screen. It immediately finds another image that you should like based on your tastes, which is obviously the main draw here. But if you'd like to know more about a particular image, just swipe up on your home screen. From here, you can tap the heart button to like a particular image, and that'll help TapDeck get to know your tastes a little better. But if you'd like to know even more information about the picture, swipe up on the label at the bottom. It gives you information about who took the picture and even where it was taken. So it's a great alternative to 500 Fire Paper or Music, and it adds a new concept to the mix. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article with the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.